bless you. What a wonderful opportunity it is to worship and adore the name of Jesus Christ. We are so glad to be able to worship together and magnify the name of the Lord. Today we have a special and wonderful treat. As we praise God and as we lift up the name of Jesus Christ, we are privileged today to hear a special message with you in mind. Would you take the time to share and like and tell a friend that we are here spreading the gospel and good news of Jesus Christ. God bless you and stay tuned because there is something special in store for you today. God bless you. To our Greater Union Grove family, from Lady Alfreda Lagan and Bishop J. Wayne Lagan, we extend love to every one of you. We thank God for how he has brought us and kept us and blessed us to enter this place once again. We thank God for all of you being here and the service is geared to the power of prayer. And the scripture admonishes us that men ought to always pray and not to faint. And we should pray without ceasing. And we know that there's power in prayer because we know what prayer can do. We know how prayer saved us, how prayer healed us, how prayer delivered us, and how prayer is keeping us. So I extend you a warm welcome and ask that you open your minds and your hearts to receive this word from our esteemed leader, the Bishop John Wayne Leggett. God bless you.
to ride upon the high places on the earth and feed the deep with the heritage of Jacob thy father for the mouth of the Lord has spoken to it. We thank God for prayer and the necessity of prayer. Prayer is necessary. And even in this present time in which we're living, in spite of the fact today we are engulfed in a materialistic philosophy of life, where people spend money that they don't have trying to impress folk in their own life, and end up in, de in debt. The problem that has arisen from the wall in an attempt to create some devices to save the world <coughs> from the attack of the bomb or the furbish pursuit. Scientific research in its passage of education when children are even going to school and not achieving but being passed on by social promotion even in this traumatic day Oh, yeah. A day when God has gone out of many churches, we turn it over to the choir, the choir turn it over to the deacon, the deacon turn it over to the pastor, and the Lord is standing back in the back door oh, and said, when are I going to have my way? Oh, the times in which we're living are dangerous times. Oh, yeah. We heard on the news just yesterday, that a woman went to a pawn shop, bought a gun, sat in front of the pawn shop, and blew her brain up. People are giving up. They're giving in. But if we're going to make a difference, we've got to pray. Now, I talked about the other week at Daystar District making an impact in the world. Yeah, Paul and Silas, as they were in, incarcerated in jail, yes. locked up behind prison walls, locked up when others perhaps would have been in crime, oh, yeah. locked up. There are so many people tonight locked up in situations that they can't get out of. Yeah. Locked up in depressions that melts them more even calm them down. Oh, yeah. Their nerves are on edge, and for some reason, they find themselves uh, taking a pill to go to sleep and a pill to wake up. A pill to function. And some have gone through so many pills that it's eating out the lining of their stomach. Causing acid reflux and causing other medical problems that they feel. But I have an answer. And the answer is in Jesus. I found the answer and I learned how to pray.
a case. But folk who had a PhD degree and other degrees. Sometimes you have to dress up your prayer to make to let them know what you know. And show them what the Lord has given you. Sometimes in your prayer, uh, you have to go up with Father who has granted us that insurmountable peace and favor in love. Thou who art omnipotent, all powerful, thou who art omniscient.
and so glad. Jesus yeah. lived in me. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad yeah. that Jesus yeah. 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 lived in me. wonderful message we've heard today the Bishop John Wayne Leggett the power of prayer prayer is indeed the key faith will unlock the door I remember the season saints would say that if you don't pray you won't stay and if you don't fast you certainly won't last I want to encourage the saints to keep on praying trust in the Lord for there's nothing too hard for God we want to connect with you and if you would Give us the opportunity to hear from you by simply using your phone and dialing in to 414-466-1800 and press the number 1. There will be someone at that end that will receive your call and we will have rapid response from our headquarters in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Someone that you can contact and reach out to you that we can pray for you. We want you to know that God has not forgotten and God has not forsaken. May the Lord bless you and continue to have a wonderful day. Thank you for your support and aid in the ministry. And as we advance through the kingdom of God, we are reminded of our mandate that with God, all things are possible. God bless you and may the Lord keep you is our prayer.